ancient Egyptian or ancient African symbols. But people don't recognize they're actually African architecture. That's, that's where it came from. So this obelisk from Africa, direct from Africa, taken from Africa, is 3,500 years old. There was a civilization in Africa capable of producing this 1,500 years before London even began. Which queen in 1596 said there was too many black people here, and there must be something where they came from. Which queen said that? That's been said every 10 years or so for the last 500 years. That's what you're hearing, that too many black people here, too many immigrants send them all back home. Rixton, Clapham, New Cross, Hackney, Notting Hill. This dark green area is what is this called the city London. Now, why would you call some place plantation place unless you had something to do with plantations? So this is where they come to do business, to buy slaves, sell slaves, invest in property. Lloyds of London started off as an insurance company insuring slave ships. If you look on their website, there's no mention of the slave trade. If you look in their kind of you know, official history, they don't mention it at all, but that's how they began. How the Church of England treated its slaves. Because the Church of England, they had slaves. They made money from the whole process. The Church of England. When it comes to history in schools and universities and colleges, just in, even in the church, you don't really hear much about that. His last words were allegedly, it's better to die as a free man than to live as a slave. So that's the kind of black man who's living in the UK fighting against slavery in the 1820s. You don't often hear about them, but there were plenty of guys like that around. All the wealth you see here quite often has a direct connection to Africa the Caribbean. So let's think about coffee. Where does coffee originate from? Ethiopia. Chocolate. If you, have you ever tasted cocoa by itself? Yeah, How disgusting. disgusting. Yeah. What do you need? <coughs> Sugar. All right, so again, it's coming from the Caribbean. Where's the coca, coca coming from? Ghana. Rum. Rum was a byproduct of the whole sugar process. So all these kind of commodities that we sort of eat, drink, see as on a daily basis are all part of black history. This is more black history in that this is how come Jamaicans speak English, because of him. This is how come Jamaicans came here after World War II, because of this guy here. The best-selling classical author, his name is Samuel Coleridge Taylor. And he was also a committed Pan-Africanist. So he helped to organize the first Pan-African conference in 1900. Rule Britannia, Britannia rules the waves. Which is almost a national anthem. They sing that at the prom. They sing that at the proms, and it's, it's, it's you can't get more blatant than a reference to slavery than saying Britain will never be a slave. But it's okay for us to enslave our people. Where's the memorials of black people who died in the African Holocaust? Where's the recognition? It's about World War II, but there's not one for the African Holocaust at all, which is worth thinking about. Let's go down here now. Yeah. 